guys, welcome or welcome back to Programming Kids. My name is Sarah and today we're going to learn about strings. So what are you waiting for? Let's get right into it. So let us talk about strings. Strings are used in Python to record the text information, such as names. String in Python are actually sequence, which basically means Python keeps track of every element in the string as a sequence. So in strings, we're going to learn about how to print and what are the basics of strings and fun stuff about strings. So now let us pop into our Jupyter notebook, see some examples about strings. I'm going to search about, I'm going to search the Jupyter notebook. That's the command line. Now it's loading. Now to start coding, we're gonna press new Python 3 to start coding with you guys. And if you're excited to learn about strings, hit that like button. So here you can see the input functions. So first we're gonna start with creating a strings. And when you create a string, you have to have either single or double quotation marks, so be aware of it. So, so when you create a list, you can put either double or single quotation marks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add double quotation marks. I'm gonna say, "Hello, world." Run. It says, "Hello, world." What if you said, "Go." Sorry. Oh, so go subscribe to programming kids. Gonna run it. Go subscribe to programming kids, which means now you have to go to programming kids and hit that subscribe button. So now let us try to print in Python. So let us try to say print. Um, my name is Sarah. My name is Sarah. Run it. It says my name is Sarah. Let's try to add more something like start to say print. We're gonna say pocket. Any words you want, it's fine, it's not it does not matter. Print. We're gonna say YouTube. And the last word I'm gonna say is print um coding. Gonna run it. It will say pocket YouTube coding. Python is very smart. So now let us create create a variable. So we're gonna say letter is a variable. Letter is equal to s you can put any letter you want like it does not matter so let me run it so now if you want 100 s so we have to say letter multiply by 100 we're gonna run it we will get 100 s's what if you want to change the letter to my name, Sarah? We're gonna run it. It will give you 100 Sarahs. And also, try it with 1000 letters. Letter multiplied by 1000. That's crazy. It will give you 1000 Sarahs. <laughs> so now, let us, let us create a string. So we're gonna say u u is equal to my name my name is Sarah. So my name is Sarah is stored in u. So now let us run it. Oh I have to have to add here single quotation marks my name is Sarah run 
right here Ren we're gonna say you will give us my name sir what if you want to add another sentence to my name Sarah so we will get the variable you and say plus and write the sentence you want to add so I'm gonna say hello world let us try to run it give us my name Sarah hello world so now that's the sentence what if you want the sentence to be uppercase so you will use the do dot upper function upper function so that u dot upper is a function so we're gonna run it so give us my name is sarah because we said we want you you as name name is sarah we want it to be uppercase so my name is sarah what if we want it to be split so we'll use the u function u split u split you run it we'll get my name is sarah you can see it these are lists so now this is for today's video and also don't forget in strings we use either double quotation marks or single quotation mark be aware of it so this is for today's video i hope you learned something new if you did please like and subscribe to join our family and hit that notification bell on to get notified every time we upload a new video video and if you had any doubts you can write first in the comment section down below we'll be really happy to answer you guys keep coding and i will see you guys next time on programming kids bye for now